Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to make the financial goal releasing calculator by taking the scenario of systematic payment calculation. That is, in this video we will learn how to calculate the annual payment or systematic payment due to the reason of not given the value of systematic payment. Okay, and actually this video is the copy of first video of this series that is the financial goal reaching calculator, the scenario of time calculation. Okay. If you have not watched that video, then please watch that video, link in the description below. So for this scenario, let's get started. Alright, here we have a question as how much systematic payment is required to reach your financial goal of $1 million. Okay, so to give the answer of this question, we have to calculate the annual payment. Okay, because the annual payment is not given in these questions. Okay, so to start to calculate this one, let's go to the first video sheet that is time calculation sheet to copy the formula from the number of years and then we will change function included in that formula. Okay, to calculate this one. Okay, so I'm going to click here. Let's click here and let's copy this formula by pressing the control C. And now let's go back to our domain sheet that is here and now press control V to paste it. All right, the error is showing. Don't worry, we will fix it. So double click on this cell to display the formula. All right, and now let's you know replace the NPR function by the PMT function. Okay, so first select this function from your mouse and now clear it by pressing the back space. All right, and now let's use the function PMT and now press the tab. And now let's provide the information based on this argument. So for A, select this one, comma for NPR, select this one, comma for present value. We have to select this one but along with the negative sign so first press, press the negative sign and then select this one comma for future value we have to select this one comma for type we have a separate cell that is this one so click here and now press the close parenthesis and put the negative sign before the pmt word to get the value in the form of positive okay all right now let's change the sign from divide to multiplication okay other thing will be same okay now Let's copy the PMT function including the minus sign by pressing the control C button from your keyboard. Now let's replace the NPR function. So click here and select this function by, by the help of your mouse and now press control B. Okay. And now let's change the sign from divide to multiply. Similarly for here, select this one. Okay. And now press the control B to paste it. Okay. And now let's change the sign from divide to multiply similarly select this function from here to here and now let's press the control v to paste it and now let's change the sign from divide to multiply similarly select this function from here to here and press control v to paste it now let's change the sign from divide to multiply so clear this one and put the multiply sign similarly select this function from here to here and now press control v to paste it and now let's change the sign from divide to multiply and now click here and now press the enter key all right we got it now okay now let's change this you know color from black to red that is i'm going to match with this color okay and i'll press ctrl b to bold it okay now now we got the value of annual payment and you can see and now if you will you know match this value with our the first video it can be seen the same value so for this i'm going to check this out and you can see the 12,000 when the compounding method monthly and deposit time zero are selected. Okay, so you can see and in this value we have some decimal but it doesn't affect it can be said this amount is same as that amount. Okay, it is occurred due to the reason of you know decimal. Okay, now if you will you know see the you know effect in the sale you can you know change the compounding method. Suppose I'm going to change the compounding method from monthly to annually you can see as well as here and here similarly for this you can see similarly for this you can see similarly for here similarly for here and similar for here okay similarly if you will change the deposit time it will also change you can see all right okay now i am going to select the compounding method from daily to monthly for now all right okay so guys, it's a very easy to calculate it. That's all for now. If you have any query regarding this video, please ask me in the comment box below. 
and if you find it useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video signing off